Welcome to the experts. This week we're live at the Trivia Championships of North America in Las Vegas. Yeah! I'm your host, Tony Hightower. Let's meet our experts. I'm a graduate in economics, but I'm an expert at Avatar, the last air vendor. I'm an accountant, but I'm an expert in dark shadows. I'm a professional poker player, but I'm an expert at U.S. presidential elections. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, let's start with our Avatar, the last airbender expert, Drew. <laughs> Number one, what character is also referred to as the Avatar? That would be Aang. Aang is right. Number two, where did Katara and Sokka first find Aang? In the ice fields outside of the southern water tribe. It's, yes, in, in an iceberg. In, in an iceberg is good enough. Number three, in the warriors of Kyoshi, who trains Sokka in the fighting methods of the Kyoshi warriors? It would be Suki. Yes, it would. <laughs> Number four, the actress who voices Katara plays Anne Veal on what sitcom? That's me with me on Rusty Development. That's right. What does Katara lose on the rig when she's rescuing the Earthbenders? She loses her mother's betrothal necklace. That's right, you're five for five. What do Tan and Ying name their daughter, who was born just outside the other wall of Ba Sing Se? It's a terrible it's not Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> what, number seven, what structure does Zuko refer to as the highest security prison in the Fire Nation? It would be the Boiling Rock. It would be, number eight, in the finale of book one, who sacrifices herself to revive the moon spirit? That's Princess Yue. Princess Yue. Number nine, in what structure does Ang first find Momo? First of all, it's Ang. And <laughs> secondly, it's the Southern Air Temple. <laughs> I stand happily corrected. And number ten, what character does Mark Hamill voice? That is Fire Alert Ozai. That's right, you're ten for ten. Well done, Drew. Lori? It's time for some Dark Shadows questions. Let's get started. Number one, on what network did Dark Shadows air on weekday afternoons from 1966 to 1971? ABC. ABC. Number two, who played the 175-year-old tormented vampire Barnabas Collins? Jonathan Frid. Jonathan Frid is right. Number three, what character opens the coffin that unleashes Barnabas onto an unsuspecting Collins port? Willie Loomis. That's right. Number four, what are the first names of Elizabeth Stoddard's brother, nephew, and daughter who live with her in Collinwood? Roger Collins, his son David Collins, and Carolyn Stoddard. That's right. <coughs> Number five, what heiress does Barnabas intend to marry in the 18th century storyline? Uh, Joseph Dupre. That's right. Number six, what character is the 1969 song Shadows of the Night, a billboard hit at the height of the show's fame, identified with? Time. Barnabas. It's Quentin. Number oh. seven, who played Meadowsmith Ezra Braithwaite in two episodes in 1969? Abe Vigoda. Abe Vigoda. <laughs> Number eight, what animal's head is cast in silver on the head of Barnabas's walking stick? A wolf. It is a wolf. Number nine, what job does Quentin hire Daphne Harridge, played by Kate Jackson, to do at Collingwood, unaware that she has come there to kill him until she soon realizes he actually didn't kill her sister, so then she falls in love with him, despite the fact that Gerard Stiles is already in love with her. Anyway, what was her job? <laughs> uh, governess. Governess is right. And number 10, what item, first seen a few episodes before Barnabas enters the series, is the last image seen in the last episode? Uh, it's uh, a portrait of Barnabas. Not bad though. Eight out of ten. Nice work. Alex, you've got some work ahead of you. <laughs> For this really you guys set me up with. I like, I like this. <laughs> Liking my chances. All right, here we go. Ten questions on presidential elections to get you into the game. Number one, what newspaper ran the 1948 headline, Dewey Defeats Truman? Chicago Daily Tribune. That's right. Number two, what two states allocate electoral votes by congressional district? Give us an answer. Um, Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, Maine and Nebraska. Number three, who was Bob Dole's running mate in 1996? Jack Kemp. Jack Kemp. 
Number four, who was the first Republican presidential candidate? John Fremont. John Fremont. Number five, what president ran on the slogan of a kinder, gentler nation? George Herbert Walker Bush. Number six, what Mexican-American war hero, known as Old Fuss and Feathers, did Franklin Pierce defeat? Whitfield Scott. That's right. Number seven, in what two cities were the 2012 national nominating conventions held? Charlotte and Tampa. That's right. Charlotte for the Dems, Tampa for the GOP. Number eight, who opened the vice presidential debate with the line, who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> Stockdale. Samuel Stockdale. Number nine, who headed the vice presidential candidate search for George W. Bush? <laughs> But head, who headed the vice presidential candidate search for George W. Bush? Give us an answer. Um, for, uh, As it was Dick Cheney. He selected himself. <laughs> <laughs> and number 10, what four men lost presidential elections to Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Um, Landon, Hoover, Wilkie, and Dewey. That's right, who's your land what you're doing? You got the hard one. So after the first round, Drew has 10, Lori has 8, and Alex has 7. It's going to be a little fun.